Hello once again everyone, welcome to Cruznik's Purgatory. I'm your host, Cruznik Gex. And and today we are going to be going back down the path of darkness. Um embracing our dark side once more as we go down the Stormblood storyline for the path of the Dark Knight. Um we are on Taro Cabot because I've already done uh, the Dark Knight quest with Chris Valentine. So here we are once again at it again because we forget to record these things in advance. Um, so when we last, we uh, returned to Sidurgu and Riel fresh off of murdering Riel's murder <laughs> mother who was trying to kill her. I mean, let's not delude ourselves here. She was, n she was a bitch. Ishgardian justice for the win. Um, uh -huh. Anyways, um, so we're going to get right down to it and see where the Path of the Dark Knight leads us with the level 60 quest in Memories We Walked. Ah, Tarl, fellow master of the dark. And yet that is but one of the many faces you wear. Slayer of gods, rider of dragons, savior of Ishgard. A hero by any measure, who stood against Nidhogg on the steps of the faith when others fled. A hero who walks in light and fights for great causes. And a knight who walks in darkness and fights for the forgotten. A contradiction, some might say. Rubbish, I say. But you tell me, do you yet walk the path? So long as innocents suffer, I will not forsake the abyss. I... I thought not. Then let us speak as comrades. Ishgard has seen much change in recent days. And many proclaim it to be the dawning of a new era of peace and prosperity. An enlightened age. Yet as we both know, the brighter the light, the deeper the shadows. As dark knights, we must remain vigilant for injustice. And be ever ready to defend the weak and downtrodden. Now more than ever. It has been a while since we patrolled the streets of our fair city. Felt the cobbles beneath our boots and so forth. A tour from the top might be in order. Why don't we start at the last vigil? Sounds good to me. Oh, wait. That's right. We gotta go upstairs to get out of here. I mean, we could have gone downstairs and taken the ethernet from... The etherite from the broom, but I just force a habit. All right. Wow, people disconnecting left and right today. Here we are. As you look on for Taunt Manor, you but reflect upon your time in Ishgard, the comrades to, with whom you've traveled, and those lost along the way. Hmm. You seem distracted. Ah, right. You were a ward of House Fortong. Once upon a time. No, I suppose not. Huh? Damn, if 
damnest thing, but I swear I heard something in your pack break. Uh, what the heck? Bloody hells! Is that your soul crystal? What happened to the other half? Forgive me. It seems I'm the one responsible. I do not know you, boy. Name yourself. Mist, my lord. Hmm. I'm no lord, and you're no mist. Don't think I wouldn't know a bastard of the broom by sight. I have a power. A power which I can use to help those in need. Alas, this power requires a tremendous quantity of ether. I thought to draw on natural sources nearby, but in so doing, I stole a portion of that contained within your crystal. Forgive me, please, forgive me. I will return it to you, I promise. But I must first ask that you allow me to use a portion. Hmm. Mist, was it? Who do you want to help? Anyone. Everyone. Look around you. Is not this world filled with sadness and despair? If I can free but a single person from their burdens. He means well enough. Why don't we help him find someone in need and give him the chance to use his power? Oh, bloody brilliant. Let's believe the mysterious boy with the mysterious power who mysteriously sp stole a portion of Tar's soul crystal. What could possibly go wrong? <sighs> well, it's your soul crystal. Well, it's your soul crystal, Tarl. Either we deal with the boy here and now, or we go along with his plan. And since you're not reaching for your sword, I gather it's the latter. Congratulations, boy. You get your wish. We're not like to find any poor unfortunate souls here, so I suggest we head to Foundation. And if we find no one suitable he there, you ought to return what you stole at once. Understood? Yes, my lord. Thank you for placing your trust in me. All right. Off to Foundation. Okay, we're headed back to the Forgotten Knight. Whoops, almost past the etherite. Well, I did pass the etherite. I'm dumb. Dum dum dum. Dum dum dum. I am dum dum dum. This must be her. I think. <coughs> You have my assurances that the remaining funds will be delivered soon. Surely that is enough to convince you to resume work? I've got a score of clients coming for me services. Clients willing to pay in full in advance. I'd be a fool to put you ahead of them. I understand that I do. But it has been an eternity since we first brokered this arrangement. And many of the clients of whom you speak have come to you but recently I know this to be true. It's one thing to aid the Scholastic Head, milady, but you, you've got to understand me position here. Bloody politics it is. No fat, no man lifts a chisel to be, till we're paid in full. I'm sorry, but that's the way it's got to be. A blessed evening to you. Oh, I beg your pardon. I did not notice you standing there. As you may have overheard, I am founding the restoration of the statue of St. Valeroyan. And as you may have no guessed, it is not going well, on account of my insufficient funds and my family's growing infamy. My cousin is... was... Sir Ignace de Hevesay... 
Sir Ignaste Ifesnet of the Heavens Ward. He served the Archbishop faithfully, together with his sworn brothers. Great goodly men who were complicit in terrible crimes. If Sir Emmerich and this warrior of light are to be believed, Ignace was distraught when he learned the statue had been destroyed by the Dravanians. He took it upon himself to champion its restoration. But because of these tales, others are reluctant to involve themselves. I do not know nor care if Sir Emmerich speaks the truth. Ignace was my cousin and a man of the fury, and I will honor him by completing his legacy. Or so I once believed. Perhaps it is indeed beyond me. We found someone, didn't we? I knew it! I knew we would! I can help her! Yes, yes! I will make it right! I have the power! Come, let us not keep this poor woman waiting! Here we are. Is this child a friend of yours? The way he stares at me is somewhat... Do you wish to see your cousin again? I... Well, yes, I, I would love to see Ignace again. More than anything. But I know I will not. He walks in Haloni's halls, I am certain. Think of him. Think of his face. Of his smile. Of his laugh. Remember every moment you shared, every memory, and hold that image of him in your mind's eye. Then go to a quiet place you shared where no one will come. Wait for me there. I really don't understand what this is all about, but since you seem so earnest, I will trust in you and do as you ask. There is a garden to the south of the tribunal of which we were both fond. I pray you will explain all to me when this is finished. Go with her. I will go to Sudurgu and Riel and bring them with me. Then you will all understand what I can do, and why you must help. That's a promise. I hate it when people say, you'll un- Oh wait, I can't say that. Because I do it all the time and that would make me a hypocrite. A garden, huh? They need to edit this sprint function, like seriously. Ah, your friend has arrived. He has brought companions, I see. No, it cannot be. Ignas! Is it really you? Oh, praise Alone! You're alive! You're alive! My dear cousin, how it warms my heart to see you in good health. I pray you will forgive me for my lengthy absence. Don't be foolish! There is only joy to see you returned! Come, we must go to your father and mother at once! How they will weep at the sight of you! I cannot. Better for them to mourn me as a son who gave his life in service to his archbishop in his home. 
I have heard that you yet labor to see the statue of St. Valeriant restored. Know that I am grateful beyond measure. I... I am undeserving of your praise, cousin. For all my efforts, the statue remains a shattered ruin. But seeing you here, so full of light and life, fills me with renewed conviction. I will see it through, I swear to you. And if you indeed, and if you have indeed done the things they say, then perhaps it will earn you a measure of forgiveness. I love you, cousin. Now and ever after. Look after my parents. And yourself. I don't know how you did it, but I thank you for bringing him back to me. But you must know he is not safe here. I pray you help him flee the city. She's right. Ishgard is no place for a man of the Heaven's Ward. We will sneak him out of the city, the fewer the better. Meet us at Falcon's Nest after. We have much to discuss. Off to Falcon's Nest. There you are. For fear of being seen by the sentries, I bade the others go on ahead. We should hurry. The further they take Ignas from Millie, the weaker he will become. I pray we are not too late. All right, let's fly. Oh, whoops, I passed him. Whoops. Forgive me. Forgive me. I should have known the magic would not sustain itself much longer. That what you see before you is Ignaz. What remains of him? I can give the memories form. I can breathe them full of life and return them to their loved ones. But as the memory fades, so too does the magic. Ether, formless and free. That which I took, I used to make Ignaz and Millie whole. Draw your sword and reclaim that which was lost. Consume the abyss with Soul Eater. It is finished. Good. I've had enough of this farce. Conjuring a simulacrum of a bloody knight of the heavens ward in the middle of Ishgard? Fury, take me, you are a fool. We're lucky to be alive. Your soul crystal is restored then? Nope. Or not. We had an agreement, boy. You were return you were to return that which you stole. Forgive me. Forgive me. I returned to you that which was used to give Ignas life. But as for the remainder four more times. It is within my power to do this four more times. Four more times and you shall be made whole. You have my word. 
for a boy with such an incredible power, you are remarkably helpless. Not only did you rob Tarl of his ether, you, you imposed upon him to find your people in need. You want to do good? You want to be a hero? You want to help people? Then why weren't you properly prepared? I... I will never be a hero. I only wanted to help. It is not death itself we fear, but the unfinished story. The promise of what could have been. It is enough to break a heart and a man. The shattered pieces of a life will never come together again. But if a glimpse of their loved ones grants them the peace they deserve, then I must... I must... It is your decision, Tarl. You are the victim. Perhaps some good may come of this. Thank you. Thank you. Together we will make them whole. We're not going anywhere, miss. Even Sid. He may look and act like he's a chocobo's ass, but he means well. Fine, fine. I'm only trying to put the fear of the gods into the little shite, but by all means, go ahead and undermine my authority. Anyway, I'd rather not freeze to death out here in the snow. Let's return to Falcon's Nest and discuss what to do next. Alright, let's head back. There you are. Let's see. Just what I needed. Another child to look after. Am I a dark knight or a nursemaid? I don't even know anymore. <sighs> but times, they are ever-changing. And perhaps we Dark Knights must change along with them. Long-held truths will all become lies. And heroes and villains heroes. Though I should be glad if I never have to deal with another hero again. No offense, of course. But you are the exception that proves the rule. The righteous are all too uncompromising. And woe betide the man who offends their delicate sensibilities. If anything, I say you are too accommodating, but it, is, but it is your ether and your soul crystal at stake. Four times he swears, but we shall hold him to it, together. In the meantime, you may as well get some rest or attend to other matters. These two can keep themselves company. Maybe I'll find someone to take a nap, or a tavern to have a drink. The next Dark Knight quest will be available from Sidurgu upon reaching level 63. And we know the requirements for undertaking subsequent quests. Alright, with that being said, we have completed the first of a long line of quests to do. What? Who will miss Resurrect next? Only time will tell, because I totally forgot how this... How this all, uh, how this all works out. So I don't even remember. So it'll be new for me. Um, but anyways, that's going to be it for this episode of Cruise Next Purgatory. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed the show. As always, if you're watching this on Twitch or Live or PlayStation and you like this show, click the follow button. Be sure to turn on notifications so you're informed of all of my live streams and videos the moment they air. And be sure to subscribe to me for exclusive access. If you're watching this on YouTube and you like this video, click the like button below and leave a comment. Subscribe to my channel by clicking here. Click here to watch more by me. Click here to watch the next episode. And click here to watch the previous one. Until next time, Cruise the Gex. Signing out.